The Miter Attack Matrix is extremely useful. It's basically an attack kill chain, helping you understand the different stages of an attack. And we call these tactics, and they're categories, if you will. And below that, we have techniques. And those are the common techniques that are used in that tactic. So for example, in gaining initial access to an environment, attackers will often leverage these techniques. And when you click on a technique, it will explain what that technique is. And as you scroll through it, it'll give you actual examples of that technique observed in the real world. And then it will help you understand how to mitigate it and then how to detect it and then additional references and reading. So using this attack matrix can help you land those next steps when you go to investigate a threat and kind of follow the breadcrumbs, if you will. Let's switch over to Microsoft Threat Protection. Now, as you know, MTP automatically correlates alerts from a variety of sources, such as Defender ATP, Office ATP, Azure ATP, Cloud App Security, Azure Active Directory, into an incident. And here we have an incident where we have 59 active alerts and 50 out of 59 active alerts, rather, and we observed 11 MITRE ATT&CK tactics. And if I hover over these purple bars, I could see the tactics that were observed. So starting with initial access here, I may wanna go over to my kill chain on the matrix and start with initial access and go through these techniques. Sure, but let's go ahead and sort by alerts. And in my alerts here, I'm going to find the column called category that's the MITRE ATT&CK category or tactic that was observed. And I'm gonna sort by that column. And I'm gonna start with that first tactic in the kill chain, which is, you guessed it, initial access. So let's start with that first alert. Now, if I click on this alert, I could see that's a Defender ATP source coming from EDR using behavioral machine learning to detect it. Check it out, there's the MITRE ATT&CK tactic, initial access. And then there's the two techniques that were observed, spear phishing and exploitation. And if I click on one of these tactics, it'll take me directly out to the MITRE ATT&CK matrix for that technique. And I can read all about it. And again, understand uh, you know, what it is and how to mitigate against it, examples of it in the real world, so on and so forth. So extremely helpful here to be able to use this information to proceed to a next step in investigating this alert. Same thing for exploitation for client execution. And if we go back to our main matrix here, uh, here I can see phishing, and if I expand this, I could see the, um, the subcategories. And then we also see exploitation for client execution is here, and I notice that's under execution tactic. So we actually observed two different tactics here. So that's built directly into the product, and again, that just gives me breadcrumbs and leads me to next steps. Now the product is smart enough to tell you recommended actions as well, so don't forget about that. But let's, uh, let's do this again here. So this time I'm going to scroll through these categories and let's find one that is on Azure ATP. Here we go, lateral movement. Well, if we go to the attack matrix here, there's lateral movement in the kill chain. So let's go ahead and click on that alert. And we can see that the category is lateral movement, perfect. Let's go ahead and open up that alert page and drill into it. Now it opens up Cloud App Security because there's a direct integration between Azure ATP and Cloud App Security. And I have another video that explains that. But uh, this is where we could see that a user successfully used uh, a machine here to authenticate against a domain controller. And we noticed suspicious Kerberos uh, protocol implementation. We noticed some few a few other things, potential, potential lateral movement. And then check it out, there's the MITRE tactic that it maps to. So using this information and the details here in the activity log, I can you know, proceed to my next step. Now, I do have an easy button for you, and that is the documentation. So if I go out here to Azure ATP, I've got it, and I'll put a link in the video description for this that helps you understand what these alerts are. So that alert was suspected overpass the hash attack. Well, let's go to the documentation, and let's go to lateral movement, because that's the MITRE tactic that was observed. And then over here on the right side, let's find it. There it is, suspected overpass the hash attack. Boom, everything about that alert. And then it helps me understand how to identify if it's a true positive, a benign true positive, or a false positive, and then what to do, and how to understand the scope of the breach, and then suggested remediation steps, and uh, how to respond. 
So use this cheat sheet. I'll put a link in the video description. Let's go back to our alerts here. Let's find a different one. Let's find one for maybe cloud app security. Here we go, initial access, cloud app security. So let's go ahead and open up that. And here we could see some activity happening from a Tor IP address by a user, and it falls under the initial access uh, tactic. Okay, so let's go to another cheat sheet I have. And again, I'll put a link in the, in the video description for this. And here we're documenting all the alerts for cloud app security. So let's go to initial access and anonymous activity from an anonymous IP address, which would be like a Tor browser. Uh, helps me understand if it's a true positive, benign true positive, or false positive. And then what to do if, if it is one of those and how to respond. Boom, it's, it's pretty easy, right? So really, really useful. And I'll, again, these are cheat sheets. Combine this with the MITRE ATT&CK matrix and combine this with what's built in here to the product. And it helps you understand how to proceed in investigating your incident. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, that's okay too. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks so much for the support. I'll have many more videos on these topics soon. Okay, take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.